Hello guys, welcome back to another Windows 8 tutorial. So this tutorial is going to be based off of clearing up your cache in your Windows 8 platform, whether it be in the desktop or the Metro UI. What I'm going to be doing is it's going to be in parts. So if you want in the description, you can actually click the ones that you want to see and you don't have to look at the whole video. These parts are going to be showing you how to, for one, clearing up the desktop apps cache. Number two will be clearing up the modern UI apps cache. The other one would be clearing up the Internet Explorer cache. The other one would be clearing up the Windows Store cache and I do believe the last one would be clearing up the live tile cache so if you guys want to go through any of those all you have to do is just click on the time and it'll take you right to that portion of the video that you are seeing right now instead of watching the whole video so just an introduction of what this video is about I can say that one of the things in helping speeding up your computer is clearing the cache although it isn't everything it takes to get some more speed it does wonders in some cases especially in Windows 8 where you have two different environments the desktop and the modern UI you have to know how to clear the cache for both of them and in what follows you're gonna be shown how to go ahead and just do that so let's get started on the desktop. The easiest, most efficient way you can actually clean it is using utilities like CC Cleaner, Advanced System Care. This clears up the browser cache, the thumbnail cache, the font cache, the DNS cache, and much more. You can actually clear the cache of all the browsers in all your computers at once using CC Cleaner or Advanced System Care instead of doing it manually. And I think I've covered a couple things like that. Other than CC Cleaner, you can actually try some manual methods. The best thing is that all methods are still capable of doing such in Windows 8. For instance, if you want to go ahead and clear the thumbnail cache, you can use it doing the disk cleanup, though you won't find disk cleanup in all apps menu, but it's still there. So for instance, for the desktop apps cache by removing it, all you have to do is just with your Windows key, type in clean manager, and that'll come up. Just press enter, then press OK, and this will come up. It'll load, it'll scan all the files that will be necessarily removed. And down here, all you want is you can pick the ones that you want and scrolling down even further, and then you can just press OK. I'm going to uncheck that because I like my thumbnails so pressing OK you can delete the files and that'll remove it it doesn't remove it every time you start up your computer but it still does a good job of getting all of it so on to the next step we're gonna show you how to remove the modern UI apps cache we're gonna start with the Internet Explorer cache and yes the desktop version of IE is its own browsing history and so does the modern version so what you want to do you can actually start Internet Explorer now from the charms bar, you want to go to settings and then you want to go to internet options. And next, all you want to do is just press delete browsing history. And that'll take care of that for the internet cache right there. So our next step is going to be removing the Windows Store cache. So let's go ahead and move on to a modern UI app. How about resetting the store cache? Let's go ahead and do that. So press your Windows key, then run. And once that comes up, all you have to do is just type in WS reset and then press OK. Now you'll get a notification in the Windows store saying that the cache from the store was cleared. You can now browse the store for app. Our next step is going to show you how to delete the search history inside the modern UI. If you want to use the search function on the charms bar quite often, you might want to consider deleting the search history because it will pile up. So to do so, go to the charms bar, go down to PC settings, and from there, all you want to do is click on change PC settings. And under search right here, click that and then just press search history in Windows, press delete history, and that'll take care of that. So let's go ahead and go on to the next step. The next step is how to remove the live tile cache. So if you see this right here, you can see my live tile cache is right here. My notifications, you can see all these right here that show everything. What we want to do is we want to basically remove everything from here. That way there's no live tile notifications. And the whole point of doing this is if you think that your live tiles are not acting right or they're failing to load the proper information, this would be the point and solution for doing this. So being that we are on the start screen, all we have to do is hit the Windows key, then C, and then we can go down to settings and then click on tiles. From there, all you have to do is just clear personal info from my tiles, just press yes, and then it's done. And as you can see the results, they are very clean. And if you wanted to, you can actually open up your mail and then reclose it and you'll see that your live tiles have been set to the proper live notifications that you are accustomed to seeing and this is how you do it this is exactly how you clear all the cache from all the steps and all the options that i have ever shown
shown you. If you yourself know any other methods, make sure you go ahead and leave any comments to go ahead and help us improve whether you'd be the user for the other user or for me. It would be helpful to go ahead and put in your input so we can learn further on Windows 8 and making it smarter. All right, until next time, guys. See you later. All right, bye.